The earlier students, and I quote, the earlier students of the physical history of our Earth considered that a great gap or strongly defined boundary line separated the present from the past. Some mighty convulsion of nature was believed to have marked the close of geological time and to have preceded the advent of man and the introduction of the plants and animals with which he is associated. It was hardly doubted that the present distribution of land and water dated back to an age anterior to the coming of our race, and that when man first entered Britain, Geike was a, a British geologist, when man first entered Britain, he had to cross seas that rolled between us and the continent. It was held that within the human period, only a few minor changes had been affected in the physical aspect of our country. It was admitted, indeed, that large areas of forest land had been displenished and that consider considerable tracts of peat bog had grown and that here and there, where the coasts were formed of incoherent materials, the sea had made some inroads. But no one supposed that greater changes than these had come about since the first occupation of Britain. 